Hey there, it's Sally from Self Empowered Lifestyles. How are we doing? Oh my gosh, it feels like a Friday already. It's just been a tumultuous week, right? The energy, full moon, things are going up and down and round about and a bit in the in the um, washing machine sort of effect. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's about uh, creating a life of our dreams. And so, you know, we're not here for a long time, we're here for a good time. So let's just, uh, you know, create a wonderful time. It's a month of transition. So let's just see what cards come up from new beginnings. What do I need to know today? Please show me the way, gaining clarity, insight and direction. How can my personal gifts help? Oh, my gosh. So we all have superpowers, right? And we all have... The essence of us which makes us uniquely us but as part of, of that we have um, our personal gifts some people have different skills in like communication empathy compassion whatever it is organization um, understanding I don't know where what how to think about what your personal gifts are and how they can help the planet and help you right moving forward in this month of change right so having just to have a little think because sometimes we just get go on in autopilot and forget about what our actual gifts are and uh, empathy is a big one compassion particularly at the moment with what's going on as we're going through this shift going from the old way to the new way stepping into forgiveness surrendering putting you first and taking ownership and responsibility for your stuff other people can't own other people that's their stuff that's their it's their journey and it, it is what it is so yeah, having a, when you step into your gifts and understanding that it can help you as you're journeying through life. So next card is from the growth deck. It says, what is my superpower? Oh, my gosh, we just said that. <laughs> so your superpower is what makes you uniquely you. You can have two people doing exactly the same job, but people are drawn to one versus the other. And why is that? It's because of the superpower, because of your essence, because of your, you know, it's your aura, right? So what is your superpower and what are your personal gifts? So this is really interesting. It's really peeling back the layers on why you, what makes you uniquely you and why people are drawn to you specifically. Right. So that leads into, it's very interesting to sort of the sort of cards to begin with. Let's get into the belief deck because our beliefs can keep us small or they can help us grow tall. Let's have a look at which card comes up here. Man, believe deck. It says, am I playing a big enough game? Oh, this, I keep saying, we've got 800 cards and the same old cards keep coming up. It's like dream big and then dream bigger, you know. Just don't limit yourself by your uh, your limiting mind because it's there to protect you and uh, it, it's there to keep you safe, but it also keeps you small. When you can allow yourself to be guided by the energy within, follow that internal GPS that's giving you that little niggle inside, telling you where to go, that little voice that says, no, go left, and you go, oh, yeah, but that's playing a big game. Well, follow that. It might be a bit scarier, but, you know, take that risk. Allow yourself to be vulnerable because vulnerable is a strength, right, vulnerability. So, woo, some big cards here. Tapping into what makes you uniquely you, the pure, authentic essence of you, and what are your gifts, and are you playing a big enough game? This is sort of giving you a bit of a shove to, like, play a bigger game. All right, let's get into the inspiration deck, and let's get some inspiration from that. Okay, here we go. It says, make your words as sweet as honey. You never know when you'll have to eat them. Oh, my God, that was a chart about three times this week. Make your words as sweet as honey. You never know when you'll have to eat them. And that's just about, it's about speaking the truth, but with love, respect, and dignity. But always speak the truth. It's just the, speaking the truth, but delivering it in a nice way, you know, not in a low-level, nasty, low-level energy type of way. It's just speaking your truth with love, respect, and dignity. And you can't go wrong because the truth is the truth. And for, for how you feel it is, right, and expressing that. So interesting. It's time to get big. It's like it's time to get out of the little girl's playground, a little boy's playground, and go and play in the big kids' fields, right? It's about playing a bigger game. It's about stepping into your superpower, putting on your cloak, being the superhero that you are, and like embracing your gifts because everyone has unique gifts and that makes them uniquely you. And just remember to speak your truth. It's a time of just like truth bombs and stuff as we're transitioning, but coming from a place of love, love, respect, and dignity. Okay diamonds within let's see what card comes up oh there you go it just flipped out did you see that and it says i am enjoying a miraculous life for every positive th thought i think is manifested at the perfect time divine timing right remember our thoughts are energy and our thoughts are so powerful because they can either make us or break us so i'm enjoying a miraculous life 
For every positive thought, I think, is manifested at the perfect time. So remember, you are the master creator of your journey of your life. And it all stems down to your thoughts, how you think, feel and act. And when we step into the mindset of positivity and gratitude, it just helps us with our creation <laughs> creation phase, right? So remember that our thoughts are so powerful and your thoughts create your reality. So what you think you become. So be really mindful about where your thoughts are traveling to. So let's just finish off with a bling boost card. Let's just see what empowering words are coming out today, empowering statements. And it says, let's have a look. You can be adventurous. Oh, okay. Get out of your comfort zone because that's where change happens. Nothing changes when nothing changes. So we have to get out of our comfort zone. We have to get comfortable with being uncomfortable to bring real change in. So be adventurous. Think outside the square. Step into your superpower, superhero qualities. Embrace your personal gifts. Play a bigger game. Remember to speak your truth, but with love, respect, and dignity, and have positive thoughts about it all. You have got amazing future, which you you are creating right now. When if you are choosing to do so. So with that, I'm complete. I'll catch you tomorrow. Woohoo! Almost Friday. Hang in there uh, and have a good day, evening, or afternoon wherever you are in the world. See ya.